Hey YouTube, Blackwatch Jazz here, and today I am so freaking happy to be reviewing Studio Series 1986 Autobot Jazz. Now, I was really hoping this guy would have been uh, coming out in the War for Cybertron line so he could show up in the Netflix show, but, you know, Hasbro over here, you know, with their brains scooped out and replaced with a can of beans... But, you know, they still granted me this figure, and I am really happy with it. So, for the packaging, we got Autobot Jazz Jazz. This amazing picture of Jazz. You just have to take a second to appreciate it. I know I would not do this with any other character, but, you know, it's Jazz, my favorite character. You got more Jazz. You got another amazing image of Jazz. Take a moment to appreciate this. Okay, that moment is up. You got the barcodes and stuff, and we also get this backdrop right here. This is when Unicron was about to attack the the Moon Base One that Cliff Jumper and Jazz was on. However, I will be showing that in a moment with Jazz and Cliff Jumper. So, for the vehicle mode itself, with I'm just gonna take his gun off for now. So, here we have a decent-looking Porsche 935 Turbo, or what it's supposed to be. Of course, they couldn't get the licensing for this guy, so he kind of looks more like this. I don't know what's going on with, like, I don't know what happened there. Maybe it's because, like, the white plastic and painted plastic, I don't know. But still, we got a nice red right here at the, at the front of the grill. And you got a nice blue paint, uh, baby blue paint paint or sky blue or whatever you want to call it and for the headlights you got a really nice blue i really love this blue for the little stripe that's going across the top of the vehicle you got a nice autobot symbol a red stripe that also goes through out and uh 14 i feel like they should have you know what it, it would probably gotten in the way with licensing issues, but realistically should be a four with like the martini stuff right there. And you got a nice silver for the wheels, and of course you got all that. And you know you got the the casual feet in the back. So for some size comparison, here he is with Cliff Jumper. Here he is with Bumblebee. Here he is with his partner in crime, Prowl. Also, no, I don't ship them. If you ship them, then you're disgusting. If you ship Soundwave and Jazz, you're still disgusting. If you ship Jazz and Blaster, you're still even more disgusting. That's all I have to say about that. Ironhide. And we got Prime and Jazz. Now, can he fit in the trailer? Can he fit in the trailer? Give me this... All right, can he fit in the tr- Nope, he can't fit in the trailer. That's unfortunate. I do have a complaint about this vehicle mode, and that is, like, it doesn't have this, the red and blue stripe on the side here either. But, you know, I'm just going to skip down the transformation since nobody really cares about what I have to say. So, first, I like to pop these doors open. You know, like, take the arms- Flip them down. Take them. F flip them that way, I guess. Uh, you know, this is actually pretty cool. Like the way they engineered this. All right, rotate at the bicep. Flip out the hands. Then, what am I going to do now? What am I, I going to do? All right, I think you're supposed to. Alright, so I guess push this little panel down. I know this part is kind of tricky. Alright. Then, I like to flip these fenders down. Then take the legs, extend do. And then you got that. You flip out the feet. Then you can have them standing up. And now, next... Take the head, try to push it through, be very careful because it's, I think it's attached to here. 
It might be. I'm not sure. All right, then just push his head all the way through. Now, with this little panel, you're going to want to make sure... Wait, oh wait, nope, never mind. You're going to want to flip around the silver section, then... Wait, hold on. And then flip around the torso. And then with this little panel right here, you're going to want to flip it back, so... There's like these two tabs right here and here. It's going to go into those two slots right there and there. And then that just slots in like that. It's nice and snug, and it does the job very well. Split the legs so it, it just untabs. Take the back piece of the car, and it just goes in like that. Take the doors, hinge them in, close it all up, and then boom, you got yourself an amazing looking jazz oh my god this is what i've been wanting for so long ever since we got that excuse of a figure back in power of the primes uh you know you could just have them hanging out on moon base one over here and wow i'm just amazed and blown away by this figure so for details you got that same blue paint and it's on the visor you got a part of the blue stripe that was seen in the vehicle mode. However, it's most of it's covered. Covered. Uh, you got a nice Autobot symbol right there, and you have the red stripe that was seen in robot mode. And then you got like this nice electric blue. I don't know. That's that's what I like to call it. Now this black was not here before. I put that in there with a like Gundam marker. If you guys have that, I totally recommend it. It definitely helps separate the white and it's G1 accurate. And you have some nice silver for the feet right here. Unfortunately, still no blue on here. I was really hoping that was just like a prototype when we first saw it. But unfortunately, it's a reality that we don't have the blue and red right there on the fenders. But we got a nice silver right here. And you got the back of the... You got the spoiler right here, which is actually G1 accurate, and we have this G1 accurate backpack, so if you complain about it, you're a degenerate. Now, articulation, he can kick uh, this far. His knee is a little bit annoying, because this is kind of a problem I had with run amok and run about, but his knee just goes like that sometimes if you try to bend it and i really don't like that however that's really my own problem with robot mode his knee bends like that however if you can if you want you can use that as like a double jointed knee and his arm does a full 360 moves out this far if you want you could okay no nope, never mind there is a 90 degree bend at the elbow no wrist swivel Head is on a ball joint. He looks up this far, down this far. You can do the wiggle waggle right there. Head does a full 360. And he has a waist swivel. So, for size comparisons. Hold on, let me just get him standing up properly. I said stand up properly. Thank you. I just wanted to have Jazz and Cliff Jumper here for the Moon Base 1 scene where Unicron attacks. And, you know, it looks cool. It looks cool. You know, there's the size is definitely pretty accurate. So now to the rest of the comparisons. Here he is with his partner in crime, Prowl. And as you can see, Jazz is uh, shorter than the normal deluxe class. But not by much. much like maybe by a head for some characters. Here he is with Ironhide, and as expected, he's obviously not going to be as tall as Ironhide, because Ironhide is just taller than most deluxe classes. And here he is with Prime, and as obviously, obviously, Prime is obviously going to be quite a bit taller than Jazz. Now my final thoughts on this guy, he is amazing! Oh my god, Hasbro, you freaking nailed this. You, you guys, oh my god, like... I really recommend this guy to any TF collector who is who has been a fan of G1 ever since the beginning. Like 
obviously this guy is way better than Power of the Primes. And overall, this guy is a 10 out of a 10 out of 10 for me. In fact, I just reached 10 minutes on this video. So, oh my god. But guys, this is a must-have in your collection if you collect any G1 figures. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next review. Bye.